we thought we'd better go and find out exactly how microwaves work um, with cooking. And it's quite interesting. Um, so we're all used to cooking with gas or an electric cooktop where if you need more heat, you turn up the gas and you can see it turn up and turn it down and you can adjust it through the cooking cycle. Microwaves are a, a, simply a wave, like uh, a wave on water or sound waves in the air. How a microwave produces heat is with something called a magnetron, that's what this is. And this can create different amounts of heat in the food, but because people haven't been able to vary the amount of the heat in their microwave, they're all running on flat out. It's a bit like trying to cook on your cooktop on high heat the whole time. So we went into people's homes and we talked to them and we asked them to cook in their microwaves. And what we found was there were some problems that people were having. They found the control quite confusing. Uh, the whole bunch of buttons there that they just don't use, they, don't, they didn't know what they did. So we set ourselves a challenge to design a microwave that had a really easy to use interface, as well as cook foods to give you the results that you want. We got together with our team of food thinkers, uh, which consists of food experts and engineering and design experts. And together we looked into how to get better control over the temperature. But also we needed to work on really understanding what needed to happen with the food. And the idea there was for us to spend time in our test kitchen testing everything that people want to cook so that we can build all of that intelligence into the machine. We tested thousands and thousands of different varieties of food with different times, with different temperatures over and over again so that we could arrive at the ideal settings. And then we've programmed that in so it's really the press of a button. This is our interface. What we've worked on is making this really as simple and easy to use as we can. We wanted to give people control over the heat. We've added a power bar here and a dial. So I can just set that on to 70% and press start and away it goes. We've also done something else but no other microwave does. We've made it so that you can adjust the power while you're cooking. If I just press start and then I think, oh actually I wanted to have that on 70%, then I can turn that down while it's running. I can also adjust the time on the fly if I want to. So we really have taken the philosophy that we don't want to limit people or force them to do things in any particular way. You'll also notice on the front panel that there's three buttons which say smart cook, smart reheat and smart defrost. So we know that people use reheat and defrost a lot with microwaves. What people don't necessarily know is that they can cook a lot of stuff from scratch in their microwave. Many foods actually need you to change the heat setting while they're heating. Not, not at the beginning, um, but actually during. So we've gone ahead and made a smart cook function as well. And that has all the different food types again in a menu. A really good example of that actually is baked beans. A lot of baked bean tins will say heat on high, stir and then heat on high again. And I find um, that nine times out of 10, I get boiling around the edge, cold in the middle, and also a few exploding, which make the cavity inside the microwave hard to clean. We tested baked beans over and over again at all different amounts, and we came up with all of the different power settings that you need and the time that you need uh, to get the best result. And then we've programmed that in. In keeping the interface as simple as we could, when you open the door, you'll see there's actually an extra row of buttons in here, which are shortcut buttons. We have some auto functions. There's a popcorn. You can soften butter in this. Another great shortcut is melt chocolate. So I've got these chocolate melts, 75 grams. I'm just going to put those in the microwave and then I'll just press the shortcut for melt chocolate and input 75 grams and press start. But the important thing with chocolate is if you overheat it, it seizes and there's a chemical change and it's irreversible so you have to throw it away. So what we're doing here is melting it very gently so that when it's done I can take it out and it just needs to be stirred and then it's ready to go. So that's finished and all I need to do is take that out and you'll see it's all going to melt 
So you could use that in baking um, or to make an amazing hot chocolate. Each kind of chocolate is slightly different. If I needed to put some more heat into that, I'd just put the chocolate back in and I just hit a bit more. So it's remembered the weight, it's remembered the power level, and it's just added more time. Another great shortcut, especially for baking, is softened butter. Now I've got 250 grams, so I press the softened butter, input the 250 grams, and press start. So that's finished, and let's just have a look. Now what we want is softened butter, not melted butter. Um, for, you know, cake recipes or other things. So let's just check how soft that is. Look at that. I can just easily push my thumb in. We want you to worry about what you're cooking and not think about, oh, when do I put in this information or that. So we want to make that as simple as and intuitive to use and also input it in any way that you want.